Let's solve a physics question from the 2019 Cambridge Enga exam for admissions for engineering. So we have this block of mass 2 kilograms which is connected with this pulley system to a mass m. The block is moving upwards at a constant velocity and there's a frictional force of 5 newtons which is pulling it the other way. What we need to try and find out is the mass m. So go ahead and see whether you can find the correct answer now. Let's have a look at the solution. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply Newton's second law for both of those masses. Let's start with the 2 kilogram one. Now what forces are acting on it? First of all we're going to have the weight which is acting pretty much straight downwards. So this here is the weight which is just going to be mg which is just 2g. Now this weight is going to have a component which will be parallel to the slope and we'll also have a component which is perpendicular to the slope and we can resolve these vectors like so. Here's one component which is acting perpendicular and here's another component which is acting parallel. Now this angle here 30 degrees will be the same as this angle here meaning that the component parallel to the slope will just be equal to 2g sine of 30 degrees. There's also the 5 newton force which is acting this way and we're also going to have a force of tension which will be acting up here. So let's apply Newton's second law. We have ma will be equal to some of all of those forces and we're going to have the tension which is acting this way. From that we need to take away all the forces acting in the opposite direction. So first of all we're going to have the 5 newton force and also we're going to have this force here which is 2g sine 30. So plus 2g sine 30 like that. Now the block is moving at a constant velocity meaning that the acceleration is zero. So zero will be equal to 2 minus 5 plus 2g sine 30 meaning of course that t will be equal to 5 plus 2g sine 30. 30. Now for these questions we're not allowed a calculator so we just take g to be equal to 10 newtons per kilogram meaning that the tension t will be equal to 5 plus 2 times 10 sine of 30 is just a half. Those are going to cancel out so this will just be equal to 5 plus 10 which is equal to 15 newtons. So this force here is actually just 15 newtons. Now let's apply Newton's second law for the other mass as well. So for this one we only have two forces which are acting. Of course we've got mg acting downwards and we've got the force of tension which is acting upwards and this mass will also be moving at a constant velocity meaning the acceleration is zero so ma will be equal to uh, mg minus the tension t no acceleration zero will be equal to mg or m times 10 take away 15 meaning that 10 times m will be equal to 15, meaning that m is equal to 1.5 kilograms and this is our correct answer. Now what you need to have a look at next is one of the hardest Cambridge admission exam questions that I have ever solved on bike stunt physics and this video is just over here.